So, like, I don't think men and women should share bathrooms. I don't. You don't think, I mean, gender neutral bathrooms. Yeah, and I'm totally against that. Right? So, just so you know, like, I think it's re weird and creepy. So, what is, what's weird? Women can get raped. They have gotten raped. They can get sodomized. Um, Loudoun County schools had multiple incidents of men who thought they were women and raped young children. All sorts of stuff, right? So, but then also just from a more just like civilizational level, this is one where we're totally not going to agree. I just think that if we can't have strict standards of what a man is and what a woman is, um, then things start to fall apart in a way I don't think we're really ready. We're, we're, we're ready to anticipate. Yeah, I don't. I don't mean we're. We can't we're, think, we're not going to get even close on that, close right? Close and that I, I know that. So. Yeah, I guess my like is is that I I don't know the statistics on it, but I find it very yeah. hard to believe that. Rape is far more common in gender neutral bathrooms. No, I'm not saying it's common. I'm saying it. I'm saying so it happens. Why? It happens. So why is that like the place that we? Well, work? so like whether it be locker rooms for women only and not to allow men in them, I think that protecting the innocence of women is a moral good. But why is like? Because why um, are trans people are trans people more likely to be rapists in specific well, public bathrooms? Well, like, but they're they're biologically the not the same thing. And but that's not really my question. Like, are they, no, I, I have no data to say if they're really more likely or less likely. The question is if there's a chance, which we have plenty of evidence, like tons of stories, and whether or not it's 1%, 2%, I don't know, is do we have as a society, right, an obligation to create a boundary or a barrier to say that women, right, should be a type of class, if you will, which was the argument of the feminists, that should be protected from the exploitation of men, and I say yes. And that's that's the that's the fun, that's one of the fundamental reasons that this animates me. Right? Sure. I guess I, I feel like the the thing that's confusing to me or that I don't quite understand about the argument sure. is that a lot of it is like we must, we must protect women from men. men. Yes. And also, by your description, then also from trans women. Well, I don't consider them to be women, I, I right? Understand. So that's where we're, that, but yeah. Why, like, I don't see why trans women are more threat to cis women than cis men. Yeah, so, I mean. Because that's not been my, that's not been my personal experience, but it also doesn't seem to be, like, a statistical thing. Right, so, I guess we're just going to kind of disagree here. I don't think they're women, right? Well, okay, so, regardless, I'm just trying to. But for you to see my perspective, yeah. imagine it to be a man, and then you'd see it. Like, if I just went into a locker room. I'm not trans. You'd be yeah. like, that's wrong, right? Well, it, it's not like, like if, if, a, if a cis man walks into a, a bathroom and, and rapes someone in it, that's a crime. Well, like, let, let's take like, locker rooms, right? So if I, a cis man, walked into the UC Berkeley locker room for women swimming, is there something wrong with that? I mean, at UC Berkeley, we have... No, no, just like let's, that's well, an important I, I, example. I'll tell you no, why. I, I know what your example is, but I'm saying the reason that I would say yes is because at Berkeley we have a gender neutral locker room, we have a women's locker room, we have a men's locker room. So if you're walking into the women's locker room, I would be a pervert. In a space where people requested it to not have cis men in it, then, then it would be wrong. But like. Okay, right. So, but you get my, you get like the bathrooms aside, locker room, obviously there's changing happening. There's a lot of private moments that, you know. That so the, the belief I have is that women, let's just take locker rooms or athletics, women have a moral right, so do men, to not have um, their most private moments like shared with someone that might have you know other thoughts. Like, I guarantee you, if I right now walked into the UC Berkeley with that comparison, that and now people would be super uncomfortable. Like, why are you here, right? And for good reason, but I mean, in, in all in all truth, people aren't really like staring at each other in, in the women's locker room. You know, I'm not saying they would, but a man would. A man would stare at naked women in the locker room, for sure. I mean, at least in the case okay, in your Assist 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 men. In in your description, like at Berkeley people don't really like go up to each other and question no, no, why I'm, they're I, in I, the locker room and so I wouldn't. If a man walks in the locker room if a cis man walks in the locker room and starts changing, like, you don't really question it. Like, and I don't have a problem with that. Okay, it yeah, I mean, I... But I, this is all this is all very, like, semantic and, no, like, it's, personal but it's level. Somewhat. It's yeah, really it's, it's illuminating to me. I mean, though. I would think, and maybe I'm wrong, that, like, if a cis man comes into a locker room, women would have a problem. But that's interesting to hear.